All right, 44 Special versus 45 ACP. And what I have today is the Hornady Critical Defense. I'm firing through my full-size handguns today, my four and a quarter inch Smith & Wesson Model 69, 5.3 inch Glock 41. They have about the same amount of distance from the bullet nose to the muzzle. So it's a pretty fair comparison. Similar overall size guns. So with our Critical Defense 45 ACP, it is a 185 grain FTX and our 44 Special is a 165 grain FTX. 44 Special is a little bit longer, but typically 44 Special is not particularly powerful. However, the bullets, uh, the 44 caliber bullet is essentially a scaled down version of the 45 because 165 grain versus 185 grain. Our sectional density is about the same. This is about 43 caliber, this is about 45 caliber. So just a little bit smaller, but same sectional density. So we're gonna go through the chronograph, see what kind of velocity and accuracy we get at the same time. Then we're going to do our 10% clear ballistic test. We have four layers of denim followed by three inches of clear ballistics to represent hitting our pectoral muscle, followed by a quarter inch medium density fiberboard to represent hitting ribs or sternum and to more clear ballistics. I'll do a shot with the MDF and without the MDF, and we'll see if there's a difference between hitting ribs or sternum versus none, which would be a gut shot, and see what kind of performance we get with these rounds. Then I'm going to shoot from a little distance. I'll probably go up to 10 yards today since these are, you know, personal defense rounds and see what how they shoot at uh, 10 yards. So let's get started with this test. All right, first up we have our 45 ACP. It is rated at 1,000 feet per second. So from my Glock 41, let's see how close we get to 1,000 feet per second. The 1,000. 1038, 1039, 1058, 1050, so pretty good overall. Let's see how our 44 Special does. All right, 44 Special, it's rated at only 900 feet per second. So let's see how close we get to 900 feet per second in this four and a quarter inch revolver. Interesting. I pulled it pretty far over to the right. 885, it does seem to be pulling significantly right. The sights are on. 894. I'll read. Yeah, it's really just pulling right over. I think I'm out. Let me try to get a couple more reads. That's interesting. All right, I'm going to aim about, uh, <laughs> I guess, three inches left. That's weird. 934. 896. So I'll just take those readings. So interesting accuracy out of this particular revolver. Uh, so let's hit our ballistic jaw block, and we'll see what we get with these rounds. All right, first up, we have our 45 ACP. We're going to go through our four layers of dumb, three inches of clear ballistics, quarter inch MDF, and to more clear ballistics. Let's see how our 45 ACP does. <laughs> so what's very clear here is our impact. Obviously that denim did nothing to that hollow point and it's expanded huge after going through just three inches of clear ballistics big old hole and what we're looking at for our total penetration is about 10 and three quarters which would typically be about 12 and three quarters without the mdf that's generally how much resistance that mdf takes away so let's shoot it without the mdf and see what we get all right, I'm going to hit it just above that without our MDF for our gut shot. Let's see how our 45 ACP does. Wow. Yeah, that was a dud round. I should have waited there a minute, but, you know, there's a good strike on that. Let me strike this one again. So we know it's not the gun. That is a heck of a strike on that. So I'm going to try it one more time. See if that second strike will get it to go off. Nope. Very rare to have factory ammo uh, have a dud like that. So 
Try our next round, no MDF. All right, so my typical equation is way off typical. Um, generally what I see with a lot of hollow points is a two inch difference. So instead of that 10 and three quarters, we're actually looking at a total damage path of about 18 inches even. So that's not bad. It's just interesting that that bullet was so highly affected by the MDF and it could just be that this is a uh, softer alloy than typical and that could be what's going on. So. Let's try a 44 special, see what we get. All right, 44 special through our MDF. Let's see if I can make an accurate shot. <laughs> see what we get. That hit real low. I'm not even gonna count that. That hit really low. That was weird. That's not where I aimed. I'll aim a lot higher. at basically the top of the block there's something weird going on <laughs> so what we're looking at there through our mdf we're not seeing any expansion our total damage path is at about 17 even that is weird performance there um you can see through our mdf shots you know clearly a difference here when this impacts and we're still at 44 caliber hole and this is like three quarters of an inch so Definitely a massive difference. So we'll hit this without our MDF and we'll see if that makes a difference. All right, shoot up above that if I can. With no MDF for our gut shot, see what this will do. All right, so what we're looking at there is instead of that 17 inches, we're at, it looks like barely touching 20 inches and again, no expansion whatsoever. Not really a lot of damage going on. So not impressed with that round because, you know, typically a critical defense is designed for something like a, a short barreled handgun. Well, a Model 69 and four and a quarter inch isn't really a short barrel. It's not really a long barrel. It's average and with that we should have got great expansion and we got none so let's move on to our accuracy test and see what we can get all right so before i move up to 10 yards i just want to fire a couple of shots from 25 yards just to kind of see how the accuracy of that 44 special compares to this because that was really weird uh, how it was shooting for me so there are a couple of rounds of 45 see what we got All right, that's impacting just a little bit left for me. So let's try the 44 special a couple of rounds. Yeah, for me to miss a shot at 25 yards, I'm not trying to be arrogant, but that's something going on. So let's move up to that 10 yards. All right, 10 yards from the target. I'm just gonna do some point shots. It just means I'm bringing it up. I'm not looking at the sights, I'm focusing on the target, I'm kind of focusing on the silhouette of my firearm frame itself, so let's see if I can get with the 45. All right, I'm just going to aim center mass. I think I got three rounds left, pop them off, see what happens. We're out. So, 44 special. I guess I'll point shoot with this. Just, that would kind of say if there's something wrong with my sights or not. Just, just kind of getting a view of that muzzle should give me as good of ability as that 45 did. So, let's see how we get with our 44. That was me. I pulled it high. I pulled it high. So, don't count that. Uh, 
All right. We've got three rounds left. Case ejection is fine, which should be. <laughs> Ammo like this. Oh, this aim center mass pop them off. Wow. I can't believe I missed one of those. So I don't know what is going on with that ammo. It's probably just, I don't know. It's, that's weird. Maybe it's not stabilizing because it's such a lower sectional density than typical. I, I really don't know, but something isn't right because <laughs> even at that, you know, three feet or whatever it is, when hitting that gel block, I, I was like three inches off. That is weird. I've, I've never seen anything quite like that. That is weird. Uh, with our 45 ACP, everything seemed right except for that one misfire however you really can't blame the ammo for that necessarily because i've had it happen with pretty much everything federal remington underwood it happens it's rare but it happens with everything so overall i'm going to say they did a pretty good job with that 45 at least for a five inch barrel um, judging that we got just a little bit above rated velocity you probably do just as well in a little bit shorter barrel my guess is they probably designed it around the Glock 21, 4.6 inch, but 44 special, man, they got to work on that. There's something wrong with that. Uh, this is one of those times where legitimately you can say you'd be just as well off with, with a full metal jacket. Normally I wouldn't say that because a hollow point will kind of slow most ammo down, but with that plug in it, you know, you're not getting any pressure really in that hollow cavity. So it basically is a full metal jacket. So that's what you get today. So as always, comment, share, and like, and thanks for watching.